Good morning everyone, Lori Marie here, Mixed Media Artist in Vallejo, California. We are going to be working on another altered book page, two page spread today with some pockets uh, made out of either toilet paper rolls or paper towel roll. So whatever you have <laughs> laying around the house, that's what we're going to stick in your book. So I'm fresh out of the shower, I'm going to go take Hudson for a walk. Today is National, wait for it. Wait for it. National New Shirt Day. Yay! Go create, go play, go have fun. And then on the back, Lori Marie. Right. I have a special thanks to shout out to um, Adele and Lisa and Rosemary and Lynn. And Gloria, they've actually donated some money to my uh, PayPal me. Uh, you guys have shamed me into doing it, and I'm so appreciative of uh, any contributions that you can send my way. It's a win-win situation for me, anyway. Uh, of course, the contribution helps uh, my art and my studio and my supplies and my time so much. You know that, uh, and I can't even voice my gratitude around that. Uh, whew, huge. Um, but when you do contribute, I send you an envelope. I better hide that address. I send you an envelope uh, with some goodies in it. You have helped me clean my desk. <laughs> so not only do you contribute to my art world, you also help me clean my desk. So I have some envelopes here ready to scoot out and uh, uh, with my gratitude. So, all right, enough chatter, 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 chatter. See you on the table. All right, I'm trying something a little different today. I'm working toward myself today, and then I'm gonna flip it. One of you subbies suggested that, <laughs> and I'm gonna give it a whirl. I'm used to working in the other direction. So we shall see. We are gonna need Mod Podge and a brush. Now these, these supplies are not in any particular order, they're just kind of piled up. Uh, there we go. Stays on. I have a uh, black, a sanding block, two thick acrylic paint choices, my focal point for my two-page spread. I thought he was pretty cool. I think he came from high fructose, but I'm not sure. Uh, Tim Holtz tissue wrap. My Zutter, now this is what makes the corners on the cardboard. I couldn't find it on Amazon last time, but I will look and see if there is um, something that works in the same way. Exacto knife. I have a rubber stamp just for some noise in the background. I have scrapbooking paper that I have torn and I have torn it so that it is beveled. That way it glues down easier. So I tear the piece toward myself and then on the other side it's beveled. And then that glues down much easier. My Stabilo, of course. Needle nose pliers. Three jump rings. Three charms. My book. And the most important ingredient of all is uh, a paper towel roll the inside or um, toilet paper rolls. You just don't want them too sturdy or they don't like to bend. Okay, they don't like to fold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare my book for a two-page spread. I have removed six pages out of the center of my signature and I'm making sure that I am gluing the signature to something else rather than just to itself. So I'm going to go ahead and glue three pages together on one side and three pages together on the other side. You know how to do this. You've done this a hundred times with me. And I'm just going to add some Mod Podge generously. 
I buy Mod Podge by the gallon, so when this gooey jar is empty, I will just take the <laughs> peel the skin off the top and add more. All right, I'm going to close my book, pick up that page. And smooth it down. We're going to be working on the other side of that suspended heart. So I have two pages glued together. I'm going to glue the third page down here. And I'm going to go to this side and glue three pages down. Now if you are just joining us on the Altered Book journey, you will want to go back to the video that tells you how to prepare your book and also the video on how to have a healthier altered book. There are some tips that, uh, that we have learned along the way and so we as a village have shared them so that we have healthier altered books. I believe in the video I have you go through and tear out pages. I just tear out pages as I go now. As I go along, I just remove pages. So whatever's best for your style, please stick to that. I'm gonna just grab my squeegee and work that out. So now I have three pages glued together on the left and three pages glued together on the right. I'm going to grab the paper towel roll and see, I think I can just cut that in half. Oh, there's my scissors. So yes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut it in half. Really make sure that it's as flattened as you can get it. And then decide how much you would like to stick out of your book. I'm going to use the crisper edge to hang out of the book. That feels better to me. And then you will space them. Oh, once a little bit longer. That'll be fun. Huh? I'm okay with that. That's a great idea. crisper edge on the exterior. I'm going to grab my zetter, my corner cutter, see if it'll go through both of them or if it just needs to go through one. We shall see. Round it off both of those at one time. Can you see how it just rounds that off a little bit? There's the one not rounded off and there's the one rounded off. Go in here and Round that off too. This guy needs a little help. Help you shall get. Alright. So what I would like to see happen here is I would like to see this area removed so that we just have the one tab sticking out. So I'm going to grab my ruler all of these supplies that I don't mention to you because I don't know. And my exacto. And carefully, because I am on my Teflon sheet, go in there and cut that guy off. So then, I'm thinking I want that a bit deeper. Yeah, 
that's going to stick out about that far out of the book. And I do like that. And decide where I would like that because he's not going to stick out quite as far. I'm going to snip the edges first. That seemed to be a very good idea. And ruler, please. Yeah. Remove the part I don't want. That's going to be like that. And that is going to be like that. Fantastic. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my Mod Podge and I'm going to put Mod Podge all over the page. And I'm going to put Mod Podge on the opposing, <laughs> the opposite page as well because I'm going to put those handy dandy little paper towel roll these in there and I'm going to rely on the Mod Podge to hold it in place which it does just don't be too skimpy with your Mod Podge it's got a, it's got a hard job ahead of it All right, let's position those where we want them. Oh, I think that's good. I'm going to put some Mod Podge on top of those paper towel rolls. It's good to do these early in the book because we are going to have to set some books on here for some weight. All right, good luck to us. Let's close it up. Let's see how we did. Scoop that guy a little back. There we go. down really well. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some heavy books on this. I'm going to put my book on the floor and put some heavy books on this and let that really get stuck together. So far so good. This is hanging out a little bit more than I wanted to, this little edge right here. So after it gets stuck well, I will trim that back. All right, we are nice and glued down. Since this is going to be a two-page spread, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue three pages together on this side. Don't look at the images. Don't get attached to the images. I'm not saving the images, <laughs> so don't peek. Well, I know, she's pretty beautiful. We're not going to keep her, though. All right, I'm going to Mod Podge this. Close my book. Mod Podge the next page together so that I have three pages on this side. You know how to do it. So I have the three pages glued together on this side and this side with the tags or the pockets here. As I'm looking at these pages, I'm not finding them very interesting. So I'm going to go into my old books. And I 
I'm just going to grab some old pages, take those white edges off, and I'm going to add some underpants sporadically to these pages where they just do not have much personality. I've already got Mod Podge on this side. nice and sticky because it's been sitting there for a minute while I bonded with the book. I decided it was not quite as interesting as I needed for it to be. You don't have to cover everything if you have an uninteresting page, but I need to give it a little something something. underpants to this side and a few underpants to this side. All right, thank you everyone for allowing me to do that. Just get some more energy on those pages. Whew. Catastrophe avoided. All right, now I'm going to bring in those scraps the scrapbooking paper and they are going to be adding some more energy to our two page spread and they are just going to go down randomly you don't have to pay too much attention to the colors of the scrapbook paper we're going to be covering it with paint and tissue paper and focal point, lots of layering going on, some stamping. I love these, but they're, they, are, they are not torn. And they are just a little bit sharp to expect them to go down on the page nicely. The torn edges make a huge difference. this page covered. Now I'm going to go on to this page and do the exact same thing. I know a lot of you are like, why do you spend so much time on the underpants? You just cover them up anyway. Well, if any of you have ever held one of my books, you know that it just pulsates with energy. And it's the layers upon layers upon layers that create that energy, that make the books yummy, yummy to hold, yummy to thumb through. Same thing with my art. My art gets under pants, lots and lots of layers, lots and lots of energy. And that's really important to me. I want uh, people to feel the energy. And if I were to just take the blank pages and just add a focal point to it, it would be very, very flat. And we are not after flat. All right, I'm going to let this dry just a little bit, and then we're going to play with those thick acrylic paints. So I do not mind if uh, the page is not completely dry. Ooh, well, how about that? That's more than enough, isn't it? I don't care if the pages are not completely dry with the Mod Podge. So we're going to drag that green down that page. Oh, that's yummy. And you can see how the paint reacts differently to the different layers of uh, book page and scrapbooking paper. Oh, I'm using a gift card, credit card to do the dragging of the paint. Remove some of that. Don't quite need all of that. Can you 
you see how it kind of makes the ridges around the different layers? Scrapbook paper, underpants. Now I do have to let it dry. Otherwise I'll get some mud. I'm not up for mud today. Actually I'm going to take my heat stick and dry this so that I can keep on praying. Okay, as I've mentioned, this is my first time working toward myself, so I am all over the screen. I apologize for that. I will learn how to do this better. Okay, so the green acrylic is dry. And I'm going to go in and rip it up a little bit with my sanding block. pages. I've grown to love these sanding blocks. I've always just used sandpaper. And this just kind of keeps it more at a flat, a flat surface rather than depending on my fingers to hold it steady. Can you see how I'm ripping the pages up a little bit? That's what I'm after. Noisy old sandpaper. Beautiful. I'm going to do it a little bit more off screen. All right, I'm going to clean the dust off with a paper towel. Nice, nice texture going on in there. The green paint is heavier in some spots than in others. I happen to enjoy that. All right, so where's the ochre paint? Here we go. And I'm going to do the same thing with the ochre paint one of my favorite colors. And I'm just going to drag, ooh. <laughs> oh my, isn't that fun? Okay, let's hit the tags with a little bit of ochre. Oh, very little. Might need more than that. That's beautiful. I'm very happy with that combination. We'll deal with those tags later, or the pockets later. But the ochre is too delicious to just not smear on everything. All right, back to the heat stick we go. Dry this. Yum, delicious. Oh, waste not, waste not, waste not. All right, this feels good and dry. I'm just gonna sand it a little bit. brings up the back layers a little bit, tears it a little bit, adds more texture. We love texture. All right, next we're going to bring in our, let me dust that off here. Everything's got a nice bite to it, 
sometimes that acrylic gets kind of slick. The sandpaper allows it to have a bit of a bite again, so things will stick to it again. Very nice. All right, dust that off. Let's bring our uh, stays on ink pad and our lined it's just sticks or something. I don't know. I'm just going to be adding it for noise on the page. Can you hear the noise? Just kidding. It's just another layer. Just some more energy. I am very much a use what I've got girl. I am still using the scrapbooking paper that Chris donated to the classroom and to me, which I really appreciate. All right, that looks fantastic. Now we're going to bring in the Tim Holtz tissue wrap paper and we are going to put that on our page. Now if I use some Mod Podge under it and some Mod Podge over it, this will become more translucent, which is the goal. We don't want to cover all of our work up. We want to enhance it, but we don't want to hide it. So I'm going to grab that Mod Podge, put a generous amount of Mod Podge on those two pages. We're not even toying with the pockets yet, simply working on the two page spread. quiet meditation time while we're doing art, huh? Love that. I'm not real happy with this serrated edge, but I can be okay with that. Acceptance, acceptance, acceptance. I do not mind if there's wrinkles in there. We will call that texture. And tissue paper tends to wrinkle. I'm okay with that. Truly, truly am. peek at our focal point because I know I do not want it dead center. I want it off to the side a little bit. Enjoy some of this activity here. He is pretty yummy. I'm just going to go ahead and glue him down. What the heck? What are we going to wait for? He's going to hang off the edge the bottom. So we will trim him after he dries. I don't know how far over he's going to go, so I'm just prepping for 
something pretty large. My punch not, is not going to hurt anything, is it? All right, Buster. Right to the edge. Mm. Just do not want you right in the center. Lots and lots going on in this image. <clears throat> if you are looking in high fructose or juxta juxtapose or help dolls you will find that the pages are nice and sturdy. If you get into the fashion magazines, the pages are more flimsy. So you have to be more careful with them. These art magazine pages are pretty sturdy. They are not cheap magazines. Choose your magazines wisely. All right, all this extra is going to come off after he dries. He's beautiful. Just beautiful. And I'm going to put a layer of Mod Podge on top of him to seal him in there. And then also, while the Mod Podge is on there and wet, I can work it with my fingers. Make sure that that little piece is down there. Don't feel a lot of bubbles. That's nice. And then just seal the whole piece with your Mod Podge. And then walk away and let it dry. Beautiful. Let me see if you're stuck down well. So what I want to do here is take that edge off a little bit. Let's see if we can do it. Well, it's going to tear how it's going to tear. Much better. Much, much better. Get to see some of that energy up in that corner without the music paper. Think we can? We're going to try. Why not? No rules in mixed media, right? Oh, thank goodness. I like it. All right. I'm going to let it dry. All right, you knew that that straight line was going to bother me, didn't you? So I tore some off and then I just moved it over. That feels much better. Then I've got this piece here that I ripped off, and I'm going to add that down there. We are looking for character, personality, energy, nothing too straight for the eye to get bored on, that's for sure. Oh, okay. Does that feel better? That feels better to me. Yep, kind of ragged. Like it.
can we? We're going to try it. much better. All right, we're pretty much dry. I want to play with the tags a little bit. I'm going to put something under the tags there and something over the tags. I'll use you. And I'm just going to take my walnut ink spray, which is always dangerous. And we're just going to stain those up a little bit. Give them some personality. these edges off. nothing to the piece. <clears throat> so we are not going to do that. So how about some Stabilo? Alright, you guys know how to do the Stabilo. I'm going to go around to all the edges of the pages with the Stabilo. Getting that nice dark smoky edge. Then I'm going to go around the focal point and I'm going to go around the tags. And then we'll come back and play with those tags a little bit. Oh, they're not tags, they're pockets. Sorry. Tags have yet to be made. Okay, ready to play with the pockets that I keep calling tags? I'm going to go in and I'm going to pop a hole with my crocodile too. I'm going to pop a hole here and here. You can use a hole punch. You can use the Japanese hole punch. Doesn't matter. Just get a hole in the center of each pocket. That is extended out. Now, I'm going to grab a jump ring, put that jump ring on there, and a charm. Now the charms I got from Bobby Joe. So thank you Bobby Joe. She brought some into class and shared them with the class. I need my other tool. If you take the jump ring and just move it back and forth like this, it will come together. I am no jewelry maker. I can tell you that for sure. But I do know that much. Do I want the tooth or do I want the $7? I want the $7 there. 
take that jump ring. If you have two needle nose pliers, that's a better idea. Just move it back and forth until they touch. There we go. And now, now that I'm looking at the piece, oh, how fun is that? We are going to make the tags for in here later. I made some tags on some haagen -Dazs. These are not done yet. Some haagen sticks that will go into those pockets. That's very fun. So we will make those at a later date. Um, okay, what I would like to see here is some more room to play. I'm going to take a little bit of this ochre paint and a tiny paintbrush. So I'm going to put some dots around with that smaller paintbrush, some of that ochre paint, and just put some dots around. I love dots. Certainly didn't want white dots on this one. And I'm just going to go around the focal point and add some energy. To some areas, not the whole thing. Oh, gang, pretty fun, huh? So at this point, I'm just kind of listening to the energy <clears throat> on the piece and seeing where it needs some, uh, some dots to draw the eye in. Pretty delicious. Take your time, listen to the piece, let it talk to you. Yeah, 
I'm happy. <clears throat> I am happy with that. So there we are. Hopefully I can <laughs> flip this video so that it's uh, in your direction. If not, you're going to be watching it upside down. Yeah, malicious. Another two-page spread. We'll make the tags for those pockets later. Go create. Go play. Go have fun. I know our space gets smaller and smaller as we work. Thanks for joining me today. I couldn't do this without you.